Alright, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Super Thrilled Larry Simulator. Uh, the movie, the game, the experience, 2016. Um, I'm your host, Larry, the investigative reporter Chupacabra, and if you remember, we're playing Outlast, and we're stuck in an insane asylum, and the inmates are now the wardens, and one of them is hopped up on Jesus Juice, one of them is Hamface, who wants to have sex with my dead body, I'm assume, presuming. And somewhere in this basement where Jesus Juice Man cut off the power is a hillbilly who wants to beat me with a pipe. And probably lay some pipe in my dead body too. So, to restart... Why did shit get sinister? I don't know. Basically, we need to restart some crap. Okay, dead guy. Noise. Thank goodness we have all these spare batteries, but yeah, so... There's like a hillbilly down here. And I think he'll rape us if we do stuff, so... We need to be fast. Ooh, I also want to make sure I get... What? I was gonna say, I want to make sure I get all the collectibles in here before I touch that. Because I guarantee this is gonna make an ass load of fucking noise, and I'm gonna have to run from a hillbilly. Unless I hide in there. So how is this gonna work? I mean, there's a weird thumping. Does that mean a hillbilly's coming? I'm not entirely certain. Maybe I'll have some coffee while I think about that. So, my goodness, has it been a hullabalooza for your pal Larry this uh, Halloween? I've decided. Oh, there's a. I see a pipe. I see a pipe. Metal pipe with. or like a board with nails in it. But, um, it's been one heck of a Halloween for your pal, Larry. And I've been playing, like, just a whole shit ton of Halloween games because I've dedicated myself for the end of this year to really push out the content and make really interesting themed content based around specific holidays and, you know, events. So, like, Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, just... All sorts of stuff like that is up on the list. Oh, there's the hillbilly. Hey, buddy, what's up? Nope, you can fuck right off. I need to get out of here. Fuck you. I'm magic. So are my ankles. Suck a dick. Ow, fuck you. You ass. Where do I even hide from you? Oh no, he can get over that. Oh no. Oh no. No. Fuck you. I'm just gonna hop back over that. Go away, you asshole. Where- can I hide anywhere? No, fuck you. Go away. I don't want to get pig raped. Okay, I guess I just gotta run around a bit more. Not sure where the fuck I am. Oh, fuck you. Ring around the rosy, pocket full of Larry. Ashes, ashes, I'm gonna pee myself. Under the here, under here. Go the fuck under the bed, please. You. Why did you come out of there? Come on, hillbilly, butthole. Oh, there's a battery, though. I really need to change the battery on this thing. For fucking real. Oh, did he go away? 
Well, Wunderbar then. Why did he come back, I wonder? Ooh, another battery. I do need those. Um... Yeah, I guess I just need to find the other pumps and shit. Is he really not that dangerous? I guess not. Oh, here he is. Hey, Hillbilly Bob, what's up? Fuck you. I don't even give a shit. I'm gonna go find the rest of the things that I need. Nope, that's Danger Town. Oh, fuck off, Hillbilly Bob. You're just being a dick at this point. All right, well, what's down here? There's that office. Nope, go suck my dick. All right, this is just getting comical at this point. Wait, I'm lo- Ow! No way! Can I pick up a board and beat the inmates to death yet? I feel like that should have been like day one in Investigative Reporter, the simulator, the game. Was being able to avoid hillbilly rape. Right, there's no fucking way he saw me in here. There's just... Literally no way. I'm just another ghost? Just another ghost that literally took a club to the head from you five or six times? Alright, I guess I'll just reminisce about the past with you guys and gals here while we sit huddled and afraid inside of this... locker. So what was I talking about before? Hydroelectric plants and the theory of thermal induction to create electricity? That might have been it. Or that might have just been some shit that I just came up with, but that was a good seven minutes of just running for my life. I gotta give him credit, though. These, uh, monsters are kind of a pain in the ass to escape from. Good thing I got lots and lots of spare batteries, though. Why in the fuck is he still in there? Go the fuck away, hillbilly. God damn it, Hillbilly Bob, go fuck yourself. I have to, like, wait here for a goddamned hour for him to go away. So, I've been trying to create more videos lately and make sure they get out in a more timely fashion, and I think I'm going to adopt a methodology of sitting down for a day or two, recording a big batch of content, and then automating it again to, like, you know, post at certain times. Now, that limits my ability. Fucking Hillbilly Bob back? A sack of shit. It limits my ability to do things like the next day if I'm not being constantly aware of what's going on in video game culture. But aside from that, I think I have opened myself up to far more options by just doing more stuff all at once and, like, leaving, like, the rest of my time free to work on other projects, like my own personal business, for example. Oh, hey, buddy. What's up? Why are you always seemingly in this room, being a dickbag? That is the mystery that I wish to solve today, Hillbilly Bob. Can't really hide in this room, though. Hey, Bob, what's up? You wanna go fuck yourself? I think you do. I think you sure do. 
All right, let's hop over this and let's go right back to where we were hiding before and try to start this shit so we can get the fuck out of here. I mean, they got some good running music in this game, at least. Oh, are they doing the old, he opens the one just to, like, the left or right of my main, like, locker? I, I guess so. So now that I've turned on these two pumps, do I have to flick that switch again that I was fucking with before? Before, you know, Hillbilly Bob tried to rape me? I feel like he might. So there is something that, you know, is a well-known feature of YouTubing, of being a part of a YouTube network, and that's what they call tentpole events. And that's really what Halloween is. It's called a tentpole event because it's like a big spike in people's interest in one particular topic. And in this case, it's, well, obviously Halloween. Or in my case, can I change the way this works? I'd really like a toggle for my, uh, my crouch. So let's see, toggle crouch. That'll be much better. I guess I'm just gonna be burning battery down here. There's seemingly no way around it. Except for, like, spastically toggling the camera. And, you know, with all the other games that I've been playing in this particular Halloween tentpole, the one feature that I did not miss from certain other horror games was the advent of a constant and, like, just a constant utter thing for Having to worry about flashlight battery. Because flashlights don't run a battery that fast. That's just a, a shitty artificial thing that they seem obsessed with. So what's gonna happen now? Am I gonna get raped by pig face as I come back out of here? Alright, well we're back up to the main building now that we've incidentally run around and gotten molested a whole fucking bunch. So what, what is my goal right now? Return to the security control to unlock the main doors. Alright. So I wonder what's gonna happen now. Like, Pigface has already tried to come molest me. The preacher thinks I'm an apostle sent here by God. Oh, really? Who is it this time? Oh, it's a doctor. Or maybe it's a preacher. I'm sorry, my son. I didn't want to have to do this to you. Oh, it is a preacher. But you can't leave. Not yet. There is so much yet for you to witness. Oh, apparently I have to see his, uh, his amateur porn collection. Can you? Our Lord, the wall rider. Oh! So is this an active, ongoing security camera? This place is the truth. Accept the gospel, and all doors will open before you. Interesting. So why was there invisible people killing them? What was going on? Did I miss something? Did somebody get some terrifying ass, like, telekinetic powers? I appear to be strapped to a gurney. In a Jesus Freak chamber. So he said, if you watch the gospel, all the doors will- or if you follow the gospel, all the doors will open to you. Oh, thank God he left my- my camera with my memory card here. Unfortunately, I think I need to turn on vertical sync, because I'm getting a- oh, it is on. No, it's not on. I'm gonna disable the motion blur, I think, because... Something is causing the screen to tear a shitload. Oh, I added another note. How did I access notes again? The priest, Father Not Martin, brought me here to show me something. 
thinks I'm going to be a witness for whatever batshit crazy he's trying to sell me. This Dr. Wernick is at the center of whatever went wrong here, but he died more than ten years ago. Rest in peace, says the blood on the wall. Is scribbling down investigative notes really that critical? Um, thanks? Okay, so here's the asylum part of the asylum. Okay, so this is a bunch of batshit random crazies. Who are doing some facial reconstructive surgery, elective facial reconstructive therapy. Hey! It's- it's Little Pigums! Hey, Little Pigums, how you doing, buddy? Have a good day? Oh, he, you're so cute, Pigums. Little Pigums, not ham face. Hmm. What part of the human body is this? Oh, that's like lungs and... and, uh, the intestines. Okay. Would you? As would you, Naked Bob? Us not to. It would be impolite. Not here. We give him a running start. There's an idea. And then we give him... Anyway. You look like you've seen a ghost. So there's two naked hillbillies that want to kill and rape me, apparently. I guess that's a healthy thing to do. This has got to be the shittiest night vision camera I have ever encountered. So I need to find the exit to this place before the hillbillies try to molest me. So what's the best route to do that? Where did you come from? Block B. Where would one... I don't... I've never been to prison. The fuck do you even keep all the prison people? Hmm, you don't have a penis. You're missing a lot of parts. Some of these parts don't look like they belong to you either. I think somebody's cutting people up and sewing them back together in weird arrangements. Ah, okay. Well, the, the naked rape and murder twins are cute. So, maybe this other door is open. Or either that or I'm gonna have to find my way up into a vent. Are these vents? No, those are just, like, radiators. Hmm. So I have to get up there? I mean, I don't... What is my current objective? It doesn't- I don't have a current objective, because I just got, like, brutally kidnapped. Can I just, like, let Piggy out? Little Piggy? You're missing part of your face. I don't really want to hide under the bed that's full of murder. Hmm. Uh, the Hillbilly Brothers are certainly a cute pair. Oh. Alright, I guess you're not a friendly sharing type. Maybe I shouldn't let you out. Tumor face. This room's locked. Hey, a way out! Fuck yeah! Hmm. Wonder why you'd ever have, like, building stuff. 
All right. I was about to say, I wonder why you'd have, like, such huge hollow sections of wall. It seems like it would be inefficient for just about everything. All right, that's locked. Hope this doesn't lead to the murder twins. I'd sure prefer if it didn't. Does the guard have any free batteries? Nope. Alright, so I was right. We have to get over here and then slink over to where... Fondle and Stabby are. That dude down there totally looks like he's made out of more than one person at this stage. Okay, that guy's having a great day. God always finds a way. Follow the blood. Okay. This looks like a reasonable way out of crazy town. No batteries glowing for me to pick up. Wonder how all the inmates got out. Maybe somebody took them off their beds and ham faced just went to town on the place? Alright. Hello, what is here? Um, what was that? Documents? Father Martin, the finger painter. From Wolfram Murkoff Corp to H. Granite. Subject, patient, art program, patient, Father Martin, Archib Archimbod? Helen, Dr. Zechner gave me your info to contact regarding the cancellation of the arts program. My patient, Martin Archimbod, has made enormous strides in his therapy on account of his finger painting. Just in the last week since canceling the arts program, his schizof- his- Get so effective assertions of belching while you talk, and I'm having trouble saying words, of some higher calling have accelerated enormously. Please just let the man finger paint. The few dollars you're saving on temper paint is more than swallowed by the cost of clozapine. Or clozapine? And I can't imagine the logic at play here unless Murkoff wants our patients to become more disengaged from reality. Please advise. Dr. Neil Wolfram. Not to be confused with Dr. Neil Wolf from Alpha. Hmm. It's like Timmy here has seen better days. It's a locked door. Hmm. This is an interesting room. It's like one part cell, one part computer. Office. It's supposed to be short term holding. They were rituals of conjuring. Okay. Oh, there's a dude in here. Good for you, I guess. Well, I'm straight up lost. I guess I'm supposed to follow the bloodstains to, to freedom. I'm really just looking for spare batteries and shit. Oh, well, that's better. I guess it would be brighter if I just, uh, kept the... ...batteries, you know, fully charged, but, you know, whatever. Alright, well, I guess that's for it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I'll talk about more things next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope you've all been enjoying the holiday frightening festivities. So, until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Toodles, everybody!